Hello. Today we will want to solve the following nonlinear system given by the equations x squared plus y squared equals to 4 and x squared over 4 plus y squared over 25 equals to 1. And by solve the nonlinear system, we want to find all pairs x, y that satisfy both of these equations. Now this first equation you should recognize as the equation of a circle with radius 2. And the second you should recognize as the equation of an ellipse with minor axis 2 and major axis 5. We have quite a few tools in our tool belt to solve systems of nonlinear equations. Sometimes elimination works, sometimes substitution works. Today, let's try and use elimination. To do so, we know that we can add multiples of equations together with the goal of getting rid of one of the variables. So let's name our first one equation 1 and our second one equation 2. If we want to, say, get rid of the x squared, we would need to find equation 1 minus 4 times equation 2. In doing so, we will produce x squared minus 4 over 4 x squared, which will effectively cancel out the x squared. As stated, when we perform this operation, the x squareds drop out, and we get y squared minus 4 25ths y squared is equal to 4 minus 4, which we know is 0. This can be easily rewritten as 25 over 25 y squared minus 4 25ths y squared equals 0. And combining like terms, moving up here, tells us that 16 25ths y squared is equal to 0. At this point, we can easily conclude that y squared is 0 by multiplying by 25 over 16 and that tells us that y is equal to 0. So the only possible solution between these two graphs is the point or would intersect with the line y equals 0. But we only know y, we also need to solve for x and in doing so, we can actually plug this value into either equation. It does not matter which one. The first one seems a little easier, so let's choose that. We'll plug this into equation 1. When we do so, we get that x squared is equal to 4. Because again, y squared is 0. And we know how to solve this. We can take the square root of both sides, telling us that x is equal to plus or minus 2. So, as ordered pairs, we end up with two solutions, the point 2, 0, and the point negative 2, 0. And we can easily check that these are both solutions by plugging both of these in to both equations, and you will see that both work. To see graphically why there are two equations, let's move to this panel here. As stated before, the equation 1 is a circle with radius 4. So let's assume that these tick marks are one unit or four units. And I, although I did not draw it very well, this is the graph of the circle given by equation one. And equation two, we'll talk about how to graph these in chapter 10, is centered at the point zero, zero also with minor axis two and major axis five. Also, I believe I may have misspoke. 
this is two units, not four. Graphing this ellipse looks, gives a shape that looks something like this. And we can find these intersection points here match exactly what we said would happen via the algebraic solution.